The boating lifestyle brings plenty of rewards, but it's not without some elements of risk. Boats by their nature are sealed vessels, good at keeping water on the outside, but equally good at keeping things like unwanted gases inside. The most dangerous of these is carbon monoxide, a colourless, odourless, poisonous gas produced whenever something burns. The problem we have with carbon monoxide and boating is that it, it is present as something we can't smell, we can't taste, and it's produced by internal combustion engines of any sort, including diesels, but more likely from petrol engines. And it's also produced wherever you've got a flame, so things like LP gas fridges can produce carbon monoxide. CO is about the same weight as air and the gas will fill the internal spaces of a boat, typically the places where people will be. Carbon monoxide is a silent killer and it substitutes for oxygen in the human body and in all mammals. And by doing so, it tricks the body into thinking you've got oxygen being carried around when in fact it's a poisonous substance that builds up in your system progressively and it poisons you right through from the blood uh, with your haemoglobin attaching to it instead of oxygen and stopping oxygen carriage into your muscles, your heart, your brain. And by the time it soaks right through your system in a large dose, you'll be anaesthetised and then finally the whole body gets suppressed and the, you have a cardiac arrest, so you die from it. Early symptoms include an impairment of thought processes and a feeling of slowing down that's followed by severe intoxication and the inability to escape the danger. Tragically, victims often don't know they're in trouble until it's too late. We've had cases where a petrol engine inside the boat uh, had a connection between it and the passenger compartment and the fumes built up inside the boat, people couldn't smell them. Eventually they all went off to sleep and the boat was found doing left turns and rescued by police and treated at the hospital. Uh, we've seen other cases where people have had an LP gas fridge indoors and it's built up in the um, boat cabin and people have just gone off to sleep and, and never woken up. Most of our boats have at least one source of CO, the fridge, the engine, maybe a generator. The critical thing is to make sure that the gas makes its way overboard and doesn't collect in the boat. These portable generators are a popular and easily way to get power on board, but they do need to be used with care. A carbon monoxide detector is a cheap and simple way to protect your crew. Marine specific detectors are available, but whatever type you choose, it's better to have one than not. They're able to be purchased from most hardware stores for around about $40 to $50. And they should be placed where you'd place a normal smoke detector. And in boats, probably in the roof of the cabin where you have sleeping uh, area. And this will trigger and go off at a 70 parts per million in the uh, surrounding atmosphere, or if there's a rapid rise in carbon monoxide. Generally at 70 parts per million, uh, a human would have about 20 minutes of competence to be able to get out of that environment. Carbon monoxide can get trapped inside your boat when travelling, so it's a good idea to keep some fresh air flowing. When you drive it into the wind, the, uh, the fumes and exhaust that's coming out of the engine actually sort of sucks up in here. So if you are doing uh, three hours of travelling like we are today, it's very important that you get a bit of uh, fresh air blowing through the cap, lest you might actually expire in here. One example, coming back from Rottnest Island, storm covers up all bar the uh, stern storm cover and going slow because of weather. And what's happened is turbulence has brought all of the engine fumes into the boat and the people were found unconscious in the Swan River and then had to be resuscitated and brought down to hospital for treatment. And tragically, there have been fatal cases in other parts of the country in recent times. Carbon monoxide is a danger that every skipper needs to be aware of. It's a, a problem that's there and, uh, and obviously we've had a tragedy recently and, and that's brought this, this uh, subject up to attention and uh, it's, uh, it's a matter of people being aware of the risks and, and making sure they mitigate those risks. As with anything with boating, you know, you've just got to be smart about what you do.